Hello guys, welcome back to Daska Discusses. Today I'm going to do something that a few people have asked me to do recently. Yes, that's right. I'm going to look at the Star Wars Episode 9, my theories, my thoughts on the plot, where the characters are going to go, and how the series is going to end. Let's do this. Star Wars was a huge and integral part of my life in terms of film and my love for cinema. So, let's talk about Episode 9. Now obviously before we talk about Episode 9, let's talk about 7 and 8. Now we had The Force Awakens with The Last Jedi. I'm not even going to touch about what I thought of those two, especially The Last Jedi. We'll leave that for another video because I'm sure that, well, yeah, it could start a bit of a comment war, I guess. But we'll leave The Last Jedi out of it. Let's talk about where I think Episode 9 is going to go. Now just before I get into this video, I just want to say that all these things here are my kind of ideas and theories, however crazy they may be. I know there's a lot floating around on the net. And, well, look, everyone's got their own opinions and about, about what's going to happen. But these are my ones that I've thought of and that I've, I've read a couple and I've taken parts of them and try to, you know, mix them into a nice bowl and work out what I think is going to happen. So first with Rey, our key protagonist in the film and the past two films, obviously. I think what's going to happen with her? Well, with her parents, you know, oh, they were junkers and they sold you for drinking money, whatever. I think what's going to happen with Rey is we're going to find that her parents aren't anyone huge like Obi-Wan or something like that or whatever, however you want, Luke's daughter. No, I think it's going to be something along the lines of, I don't know, look, I'm just saying it, you know, Mon Mothma or some rebellion leader that dropped her off on Jakku and had to leave her there for protection or whatever. The thing is, it's very similar to the Luke and Leia kind of story. That's what I think kind of happened and we're going to find that out somehow. She's going to go back to Jakku and she's going to meet her parents. Maybe her mum's been there the whole time. Maybe it's someone we wouldn't even know. Now with Kylo Ren, I think it's going to start off, the film's going to begin with him obviously wanting more power. Is he going to rebuild the First Order? I don't know, but I think I've got this vision of him going to Arc 2, Arc 2, Arc 2 where Luke was projecting his vision, obviously, during that last battle sequence of The Last Jedi. I've got this vision of Kylo Ren going to the exact spot where Luke kind of disappeared, vaporized, whatever you want, not vaporized, where he disappeared when he was looking at the sunsets. And I've got this feeling he's going to be there and get angry for some reason. Then he's going to turn and we're going to see Luke's Force Ghost. And he's going to say something like, you know, Ben, um, you know, you could have gone to the good side and I was trying to protect you and all this stuff and whatever. Something's going to happen. There's some sort of dialogue where Kylo will be getting all upset, just like his character did in The Force Awakens as well. He'll get all upset and in The Last Jedi, get all upset and then turn and yell at Luke somehow or even walk through his Force Ghost or take out his lightsaber and try and chop the Force Ghost. Yes. Pretty crazy, but I'm thinking maybe if he's that got that much anger at him being well, humiliated by Luke, he wants to go there, find out that he's actually dead, number one, and two, when he sees the Force Ghost and he tries to warn him, he just walks straight through it. So that's what I think will happen with Kylo maybe in the first act of the film. Now, following that, I think there definitely will be more flashbacks with Luke, possibly, right? With, with Luke's character back when Kylo was younger, maybe something with the Knights of Ren, I think that Kylo's story will end up basically where he's evil at the start, he's the dark side, and he wants to take revenge on everything that's happened. Now, Princess Leia's story as well, maybe, you know, she's obviously passed away, uh, you know, Carrie Fisher passed away, how they're going to deal with that in this film. Maybe I think they might do it off screen, that she passed in some sort of battle. Now, the Knights of Ren, how, what kind of role are they going to play? This is what I think is going to happen. The Knights of Ren will go back with Kylo. They'll take parts of the galaxy. There'll be huge battles in this movie. A lot of stuff's going to happen. However, what I think is going to happen between Kylo and Rey, there'll be one small lightsaber fight, maybe in the beginning or, you know, uh, be in the first act of the film. But then what's going to happen is Kylo will be with his Knights of Ren and for some reason, who knows, maybe he starts turning towards the light side. Now, bear with me with this crazy theory. Snoke, I reckon he's coming back. With all the uproar that happened. Now, there could be articles out there that say, yes, he's definitely dead. Whatever, I don't care. I'm just giving you my theories now, because this is just a discussion. Snoke's coming back. 
How's he gonna come back? Well, Darth Plagueis. Now, if he does come back, what I think is gonna happen is it won't, it will be the opposite, or kind of like, well, not the opposite, it'll be very similar to Return of the Jedi, where in Jedi you had Luke and Vader fighting, and then you had the Emperor watching, you know, now join your father's place at my side. All right, but with this, I think it's gonna end up being Kylo and Rey versus Plagueis in an epic showdown, right? And maybe I'm really stretching here. May not be Snoke, okay? Maybe it's some other big character, but they have to have some sort of major antagonist in there apart from Kylo. Kylo's gonna turn back to the light side. Not big, I'm just saying, if they're gonna follow this formula, unless J.J. Abrams goes completely different, like um, Ryan Johnson did, maybe, maybe J.J. won't. But my opinion, gonna be a big battle. Kylo's gonna take the ultimate sacrifice and be killed by Snoke, then Rey uses the Force, the lights out of the Force, blah blah blah, she does something because everything, well, you know, you've seen the other two, what happens, I'm not saying, there's, you know, Mary Sue's and all that, but she'll defeat Snoke pretty straightforward, okay? Now, Finn and Poe Dameron, what's gonna happen with them? Part of a subplot of the film, obviously he's gonna be, hopefully, not destroying some other big machine that's gonna blow everyone up, hopefully it's just like a major battle on different fronts, okay? Now, I'm not saying they copy something like Jedi where you've got the Endor battle and then the space battle happening at the same time. Maybe it'll just be one big space battle. I think that Poe will have his X-Wing, Finn will be with Chewie in the Millennium Falcon, Poe will not, well he's not gonna die, but you know, he'll save the day, but I think in the end Finn will end up saving the day somehow with the Falcon, everyone's gonna save the day. And then what, what I'm thinking is at the end is, um, Maybe Poe or Ray. Maybe Ray's like, oh, you fly that thing pretty good in terms of the Falcon, and throws in the dice, and we get another Easter egg of the dice, and then you can say that Finn and Chewie are the new Han and Chewie. Maz Kanata, her character's gonna have a big, huge role somehow. I think we're gonna find out how she got Luke's lightsaber in what could be an epic, epic story, like a little subplot, maybe like a five minute or four minute scene about how she got that. That would be pretty cool if they flash back to Empire or Jedi, right, however, whenever she got it, or even in an earlier time before Force Awakens, that'll be really cool to find out how she ended up getting Luke's lightsaber. Luke's Force Ghost will be in it sparingly, I think. He'll talk to Rey, he'll talk to Kylo, it'll be that whole kind of like duality of like the light side, the dark side, trying to help both. Whereas I guess you could say, or you can say that in Jedi you had Obi-Wan trying to guide Luke and Yoda trying to guide Luke as well. I think in this Luke is going to be the Force Ghost obviously and he's going to be talking to both sides of the light and dark and then bring balance yet again somehow. Now Lando Calrissian, how are they going to use him in the film? Now I did mention before that Finn and Chewie are going to be flying the Falcon. I don't think they're going to, I don't think they're going to use Lando like that, okay? Like Lando, yes, flew the Falcon in Jedi. I think in this he'll be in it to try and like help out the rebels, whatever they're called now, I can't keep up. But he won't be in the Falcon, he'll be in it very sparingly, maybe he'll fly something else, and maybe he'll be killed off screen too, who knows. The way they're going by getting rid of all the characters, who knows what's gonna happen. And the last shot of the film, or the last sequence, I think, who knows what's gonna happen with Star Wars in the future, with the next trilogy they're doing, or the spin-offs, whatever, but it'll end. Maybe the last shot, everyone will be happy, kind of like Jedi, where there's a big group photo and they're all kind of smiling, happy, happy, but maybe you'll be the sunsets and you'll see R2 and 3PO roll in, something subtle like that, kind of like in The Last Jedi with the sunsets there, but with R2 and 3PO, I think they're gonna have to go back to the roots of the original episode four, how it started off with R2 and 3PO, and they're gonna end it like that. But obviously, maybe I'm wrong. These are all my opinions, guys. If you agree or disagree with anything I've said, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to have a discussion about this in the comments. And as always, I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, leave a like, comment, of course, and subscribe if you're enjoying this video and tap the bell icon if you want to be notified, etc., etc. I'll see you guys soon on the next episode of Daska Discusses. Boom!